Ladies and gentlemen, hello, hello, and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. And it's another replay from myself. Today, uh, I'm in the E50. The wonderful, wonderful E50. We're on, um, trying to remember the name of this map, Live Oaks, I want to say. Banger. Boom. Got it. Yes, Live Oaks. I am in the Tier 9 Germ one of the Tier 9 German medium tanks, the E50, the other being the Leopard Prototype, or PTA, which is shit. Uh, well, some people like it, I don't. It's an ammo rack on tracks, and I fucking despise the thing. I do... Uh, 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 English. I do enjoy the Leopard 1, though, strangely, but I hated the PTA. But anyway... That's besides the point. E50. Fantastic tank. I'm actually trying to do a mission here um, for the Object 260, as you can see, MT11. Destroy an enemy vehicle that is one tier higher than your vehicle by ramming. That was the mission I was planning on doing. I thought, right, today I'm going to work on missions, get closer to the 260, see what I can do. E50. It's heavy as fuck. Fantastic at ramming. Um, I should say we're in a tier 10 game, but it's three, uh, no, it's not, it's four, oh, fuck, yeah, no, it's not three, five, seven anymore, what the fuck is this? One, two, three, four, four tier 10s, five tier 9s, so that means there are six tier 8s, okay, okay, that's kind of mad, but yeah, okay, oh, fuck, wrong button. Found a Centurion 7-1 and a Carnarvon Action 10. Somehow got spotted, not entirely sure how. Bounced the Carnarvon. And because he fired and the Centurion backed up, I thought, right, I'll poke up a bit. See if I can get a blind shot on that Carnarvon. I'm not sure if I hit. If I did, I think it probably bounced. It probably went into his, excuse me, spaced armour. Which, as we can see, it did. That's, um, the Carnarvon actually pens me. But the Grill 15 bounces. And I put a little shot into the Scorpion that popped up. And I'm looking for this Grill. There's a nice shot on him there. Trying to get some tracking on him. I don't know, right, at that angle, how the fuck I hit his track and tracked him, but didn't do damage as well. The Centurion pens me this time, and the Carnarvon bounces. But I do put a shot into the Grill. And I'm reloaded, so I pop up, put one... See that one went into his that I was aiming at his turret. It dropped into his tracks and still penned him. When I aim at his track to track him and pen him, I only track him. I'm not even gonna go for that shot on the Carnarvon because he's up on a hill, he's angled on the back of a slope, and angled up like that. Well, I couldn't get through his spaced armor anyway, but even at that angle that would just be stupid and a waste of a shell. So what I decided to do is come round uh, that little island bit there and come up to this bit of land that they are on. This little peninsula kind of area. And uh, the E50 doesn't have great gun depression, um, but using the slopes you are able to get shots on these guys, get an angle like this. So as you can see, like I'm pointing my tank up onto this slope so I can shoot down over into these guys here. Because it forces your tank up, so your gun's sort of low. I don't know how to explain it. But you get more gun depression like that, right? <laughs> and I spotted that 432 somehow through the underneath of the terrain. Um, the grill and the scorpion are both over there still. And then we have the Carnarvon on 99 HP and the Centurion on 1.3k, one let's say. And uh, I'm not going for the Carnarvon to take him out of the game because... I had exposed myself too much to the Centurion, and maybe to these two TDs, to try and just take out a tier 8 on such low health, when I can get easier shots at the Centurion without being shot by these two, or by that Carnarvon. So, that's what I'm thinking, and I'm going to limit taking as much damage as possible, put a lovely shot into the top of the turret of that Centurion, I was able to overmatch him at that angle, and... Um, well, I was able to pen it at that angle even, given he was down the slope and I was shooting into the top of his turret. <laughs> I'm pinging the TDs. There's an STRVS-1 and a Waffentrager. Uh, let me make the map a bit bigger. 
sitting at the back here. Like, <laughs> I know we have a mouse, but he's coming down the slope now, and he's going to be through water for a fuckload of time. There's an IS-3 on 163 HP, and then there's me, against a grill Scorpion, Object, Carnarvon, and Centurion, and whatever the fuck else is going to be over in, like, these areas, in C0 and D8. So I'm telling them to move up, but they're so fucking slow, and they don't want to move up. Oh, snipey, snipey! Snipe the cupola there of the Centurion 7-1. And I wasn't sure if I was going to reload before him. And you can see me shaking my mouse there. I didn't think I'd have the reload on him, but I did. And then that one, a bit unfortunate, slightly better angle for him there. Um, I really need to shoot more on that top bit, just like that, to take him out. And now, because the grill and the scorpion haven't been spotted whilst I've been popping up, I can think, right, I can go for this uh, Carnarvon. And he actually turns his, uh, turns his turret towards the mouse and fires at him, so I can go over and just take out Scapola. Um, now we're going to push up to see if I can spot the grill and the scorpion, maybe take them out. The mouse instead takes him out. Big up this mouse as well, by the way. Like, he doesn't do a lot of damage, given he's top tier, but <laughs> he ends up bouncing, like, quite a bit. <laughs> like, we'll see it later, <laughs> where I pull back behind him. And then you just hear him going, ping, 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 ping. Yeah, anyway. So I'm moving up to this bush to see if I can spot anything. Because, you know, there's a nice throwing a mouse moving up. And I thought I'd be able to spot that scorpion when he fired. Because I have, well, just over max view range, right? And uh, I'm pulling back here to see if I can get some blind shots on that scorpion without being spotted. I'm trying to find that 432, but I can't see him. Take another punt at that scorpion. Uh, I really wasn't sure if they were going to be hitting or not. Um, I thought he was low health, so I thought I could get him that way. And this is where I make my first mistake. I'm trying to find a shot on this 432. You can see his little bits there. So I am actually able to shoot him underneath this train. But I completely forgot about the tank destroyers that would be sitting over by this building here in D8 that will be able to get shots on me, right? Sort of like around that area. So I get ammo racked by the fucking TS5. I then shoot the wheel of the train rather than the object, which I was pissed about. And you can see more shots are flying through near that train there and coming at me. I bounce the scorpion and they're fucking up that train. And I'm like, right, I'm just going to hide behind this bridge, get down here. And then part of me was like, oh, yeah, well, you can see another shot go in there part of me is like, oh yeah, I can come and flank them around this way. But I come right around here and expose myself for this whole journey just to get to here. Well, there's going to be, well, there's obviously quite a few people. Um, I mean, if you look at the TDs that haven't been spotted, the two TS5s and a Conway. So there's three TDs there with decent DP, uh, DPM between all of them. I'm only on 770 health. So I'm kind of fucked. So that would be dumb just to do that. Someone pushes up. I think it was that Object 263 and he actually spots this TS5. He's actually behind the building. So I can't quite get a shot on him. I take a punt anyway in case he just edged forwards there. Um, might as well. I mean, could have hit. Could have not. Doesn't really matter necessarily. The other TS5 is actually over there. Which kind of surprised me. I will admit. Um... And there's that scorpion. And me and the mouse double tap him. So I pick up another kill. That's my third kill. I'm up to 3.6k damage now, which is pretty nice. Um, especially given the setup that I'm playing on. <laughs> this is when I was playing on my uh, tin pot fucking ghetto setup. I'll put a picture on screen. And then you'll be able to see it. But yeah, like... Because I'm, because my hands on the mattress to control the mouse, like the mouse is fucking moving all over the place. It's so hard to get fucking control and to aim. Uh, but anyway, back to the game. Popping up here. There's a Conway. 
put one in, well, I tried to put one into him, fucking missed because I was reversing backwards and the bloom was too big. Uh, he's trying to get an angle there to shoot and to run away. Uh, put one into him. And then I see this TS5 coming and I'm like, right, I should be reloaded to track him. He comes over quite quickly. Someone else tracks him. How the fuck did that not track him? He's spamming heat, by the way, which I hadn't noticed because I was like expecting to bounce him somehow. With, well, with with an angle, I thought I'd be able to bounce him. But he's spamming heat like a cunt. But how the fuck did that not track him? I was pissed. So then I reverse round. But he's smart. He stops. He doesn't keep going down the hill. Then he puts another fucking heat shell into me. Ammo racks me again! It's the second fucking time this guy's ammo racked me! I'm up to 4k damage now, by the way. Uh, but yeah, he ammo racks me again, reversing up the hill. Somehow got some good reverse speed. The mouse tracks him, saves my ass. I put a shell into him, then the scorpion picks him up. So that's 4.3k. And I'm fucking pissed. I was... Like, how the fuck is he ammo racked me again? It's fine, because they've got my repair kit back. But, like, that guy ammo racked me fucking twice! How's he getting that lucky? And then there's this last T5, all by, uh, TS5 all by himself. 300 HP. He's a one-shot for me. Could have taken a shot there. Seeing if I could have hit a Coppola, but never mind. He's fired. I can get around his side. Bada bing. Bada boom. Get fucked. You little cunt. So yeah, I managed to survive on 12 HP. Got kind of lucky, I'd say. Kind of. Ish. Maybe. But given that first shot, like, if you look, that TS5 fired heat in that last engagement between me and him. He rolled 383 and 382. The first shell he put into me when I was by the train tracks, and the first time he ammo at me, he rolled fucking 453. I swear that's like... Oh, no, I'm not sure of the alpha. Is it 390 alpha? Or is it 400 alpha? Something like that. But, like, what the fuck? But yeah, anyway, that's the game. Uh, I actually managed to ace the E50. This is the first time I managed to ace the E50. As people on Twitter would know, the E50, we have trouble acing it. Apart from Baz. Baz can fucking... He could play the E50 once every day and he'd fucking ace it. Every time. But Finn, Oinked, me, there are a few others. Like, we just could not ace the fucking E50. I still don't think Oink's done it. I've now done it. Finn did it a little while ago and we all went crazy. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was funny. We were like, fucking yes! You've done it! <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was quite surprised. Like, it doesn't seem like that special a game. I'll be honest. I feel like I've had better games in the E50 than this. Uh, it didn't feel like I was doing like that well. But obviously, I farmed that Centurion. I got some good shots into, like, the Grill and the Scorpion. I did, like, half their health, I'd say. Uh, TS5s, I did some damage to. Conway, I did a little bit of damage to. I was just picking up damage here and there after I farmed the Centurion. But, yeah. It didn't feel like it would be good enough for an ace. But, I got some decent spot in. Good damage, 4.6k, given I wasn't top tier. Um, so yeah, I'll happily take that. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and do all of that good shit. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.